Welcome to a tutorial video on 22.3. In this video, I'm going to talk about conditional statements in Harlow 3. In programming terminology, conditional statements allow an author to test values and then react to those tests in different ways. In Harlow, conditional statements come in three different forms. The if macro, the else macro, and the else if macro. Like in other programming environments, the if macro works on a simple true or false logic. If the result of the statement is true, the if macro runs its hook. If not, it doesn't. We see here the value is 12. The else macro works in conjunction to other macros or expressions. It is the result if the expression is not true. We see here it's not 14. The else if macro works in conjunction with other expressions like its sister macro else, but also allows for additional testing. We see here it is 12. Let's review these three and then we'll look at the code. The macros if, else, and else if allow for testing and reacting to different values. The macros else and else if are paired with other expressions. They either act as the alternative when a test is false or allow the author to supply an additional test. Let's look at the code. The if macro, as discussed, allows us to run tests. To run tests, we have to have values to run them on. So, we see right here the use of this set macro. We're setting the story variable, notice the dollar sign, example variable, to 12. So now we have an existing value because the set macro checks to see if a variable exists. If it doesn't, it creates it. So we now have a variable to test on. We see here, we're testing if the variable, example variable, is the value 12. And we know it is because we just set it to that. So because this is true, because the variable example variable is 12, then this macro will run its hook. And we see this in practice. The variable is 12, which we know because we set, as we see down here in the debug, we set example variable, a story variable, to the value 12, and then we immediately tested it. If the variable, example variable, is 12, then it runs its hook, and that's exactly what we saw. If we're looking at the else macro, it works in conjunction to other macros or expressions. So if the test is false, then it runs the else macro. which we see here. So we're testing if the variable, example variable, is 14, which we know it is not. Therefore, that test fails, it's false. Then it alternates, it works to the next thing. It says, okay, if this test is false, else do this instead. So we see an example here of using if and else. We run an initial test, depending on the result of that test, we then move down the chain of logic. So we start with testing, hey, is this valuable, is this variable a certain value? If it is, fine, then we go ahead and run the if macros hook. If it is not, then we check to see, is there an else statement nearby? If so, then we then run its hook instead. So if this is true, we do this if, else, we do this hook instead. And we see that right here. It's not 14, which we saw in practice. It's not 14. Finally, the, is, the else if macro allows us to supply additional tests. So as I discussed with the else macro, we can run one test. If it's true, we do something and then paired with the else macro, we can then do something else. Well, the else if macro allows us to run additional tests. 
Say we want to know if a number is 14, or if it's 12, or if it's 10, or if it's 8. So the else if macro allows us to supply additional tests as part of that chain. In this case, we see if example variable is 14, which we know it is not, then underneath that we see else if example variable is 12, which we know it is, we see it is 12. And I'm running all of these from the, this one because that's where the initial variable is set up. It is 12. The set macro is in this right here. So I'm running these in order so we can see them again. So as I reviewed in this video, there are three different ways to do conditional statements in Harlow. We can use the if macro to test if a variable is something or is not something. We can then use the else macro in conjunction with the if macro to provide an alternative if that test fails. And we can then use the else if macro to provide additional tests. We can in fact use all of these together as well. We could have if, else if, else. So if a variable is or is not a certain value, else if a variable, a variable is or is not a certain value, or finally else do something finally. So if all of our tests failed, we can provide an else macro statement that will then run as an alternative to all three of these. So for using conditional statements in Harlow, we're using else, we're using if, else, or else if. These three macros allow us to conditionally do things within Harlow. Thanks for watching.